Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss how to calculate the surface area of the following triangular based prism. Now how do we know it's a triangular based prism? When you look at the sides of the bases, the bases are congruent and there are two of them. So you can see this, this area here is not a base because there isn't a congruent side to it that is perpendicular. So even though the top side and the bottom are the same, they are not perpendicular to each other. But if you take those orange parts, they are perpendicular to each other. So how do we calculate the surface area? We can clearly see there are two triangles. So we're going to say 2 times, and the area of a triangle is half base times height. So the total surface area is going to equal to the two triangles, then we have a rectangle. Can you see this rectangle? We know that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, which means that that is going to be 12. And this side is also going to be 12. What is the width? 6. So we know that it's going to be 1 length times breadth. And then we have the rectangle on top which is equal to again length times breadth and we have the last rectangle at the bottom which is 8 times 12. Now can you see how all the rectangles are different therefore you have to do it step by step and you can't just assume that they are all equal. So let's do the triangle first it's going to be half Remember the base and the height have to have a perpendicular to it. So we're going to take 8 times 6. And then we know there are 2 of these triangles. So it's 2 times half base times height plus we're going to take the rectangle at the back which is 12 times 6 plus the rectangle on top which is 10 times 12 and then the rectangle at the bottom which is 8 times 12. You can then put this in the calculator which is equal to 336 centimeters squared. Why? Because I am working with area. Now what is the volume? The area of the base times the perpendicular height. Now, you must remember that the bases are these triangles. It is not this base here at the bottom. Because the ruling for the base is that the bases must be exactly the same and they must be 90 degrees towards each other. Now, this is a base of the sided figure. But it is not the base we work with. We work with the triangle because number one, the triangles are congruent. And number two, they are 90 degrees to each other. If you take the rectangle at the back there, you can see it is forming a 90 degree angle. So we know that they have to be congruent, which means exactly the same. And they have to be perpendicular to the lateral surfaces. So therefore, the two triangles form the base. Now what is the area of the base? The area of the base is a triangle which is half base times height. If we're working with the tri triangle, it is half 8 times 6. Then it is times the height of the prism. Now the perpendicular height refers to the distance between the two bases. In this case would refer to 12. So what is the volume? The volume is going to equal to half times 8 times 6 times 12, which is equal to 288. But I write centimeter cubed because it is a volume. Thank you for watching. 